Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to discuss about one of the basic skills which every general dental practitioner should have, and that's taking photographs. And I'm talking about taking photographs using digital SLR cameras rather than intraoral cameras. Intraoral cameras are a really great tool. However, they cannot compete with the quality of the photographs you can take by take using digital SLR cameras. Photography is very integ integral part of my dentistry and I hope by incorporating photography in, on a regular basis you will be able to see the benefits of photography and any dentist who are doing you know comprehensive work and if you ask them they will all agree that they cannot live without that camera. So let's look at some of the benefits of incorporating dental photography in your general day-to-day -day practice. So one of the benefit is when you're taking photographs, when you're showing that photograph of patient's teeth to patient, you, you don't need to explain a lot. You know, when patient comes and you recommend patient an onlay or a crown, and patient's like, but doc, it's not hurting. You know, there is no pain in the tooth. Tooth's fine, it's been there for a long time. And when you take the photograph and you explain patient that, look, there is not much tooth left in that tooth. If you break that remaining tooth, then unfortunately there is a possibility that we may not be able to save the tooth and that tooth may have to come out. Whereas right now, if you proactively do something, we may be able to save the tooth. But if you show the photographs to patient, then patient may be able to understand better. Many times, even if you recommend patient a treatment and patient says yes to the treatment, sometimes back of the head, they may feel that, you know, you might be recommending treatment which may be not entirely necessary. But if you show them the photographs, so even if I'm recommending something to patient and patient's like, yes, I trust you, you know, let's go ahead and do the treatment. I'll still take the photographs and I'll still take opportunity to show it to patient at some point, maybe after I finish the treatment, but I will show it to patient that why I did the treatment. It's very, very important. Sometimes patients come to your practice and they will be like, can, can you save this tooth? And you look at the tooth and you know that it's not possible to save the tooth. But if you take the photographs and we explain it to patient, that why the tooth is not salvageable, then they may be able to understand better. Photographs are also useful as assessment of your ongoing treatment. There could be braces, whitening, or full mouth reconstruction when you're doing step-by-step -step treatment. And also, when, when you're doing any treatment where you are taking step-by-step -step photographs, I always let, sit down with the patient after I finish the treatment and I show them what exactly I've done. And that builds rapport and that builds trust in patient that you know what, what your treatment you're doing is necessary. So when I'm taking photographs of removal of the amalgam, teeth with the caries, clean teeth, build up, and then fitting of the only and final results, patient can understand my thinking and why I'm doing the treatment. And it's very, very important trust building exercise if you're taking mid-treatment photographs. And I really highly recommend Many times dentists are very good at taking before and after photographs, but you need to take mid-treatment photographs, i.e. removal of the filling. And before you remove the decay, take the photographs, show it to patient that, look, that was the decay underneath the restoration, and now we are changing this because of that. Build the tooth up and then take the photographs, and obviously take the photographs at the end of the treatment. And that will build trust. And, you know, you will also build um, a library of photographs, which you then go back and look at them and you see, okay, what can you do to improve your dentistry? And, you know, I, see, I revise my cases on a regular basis and I learn a lot from my mistakes. And although patients are happy, and at the time probably I was happy as well, when you go back and look at your photographs, there's always things you can improve. And of course, taking photographs of before and after for, uh, uh, treatment. And this is really important when patients come to you and they don't know how their teeth will look like, you know. And if, you, if you've taken photographs of previous patient of the similar case before and after, and if you're showing that to patient, especially when you've done the treatment, you will have that increased confidence in telling the patient that, you know what, I can do this for you. And you will have that confidence and patient will see that when you're discussing with patient and you're more likely to get yes from patient. So I hope this brief video has helped you in or convinced you in taking photographs on a regular basis. Again, I get many dentists telling me that, okay, you know, I'm working in a busy practice. I don't have enough time. I mean, I have a, 
a, a video on taking photographs and it, to take essential photographs it takes me possibly less than a minute minute and a half and i'm sure you have minute or minute and a half within your uh, you know appointment to take those photographs as i said it's really important and also you need to make sure you're disciplined with it because it's very easy when you are running late when you're tired or you know one reason or the other to not take photographs and i've been there and many times what i feel that you know um, ah, do you know what the patient's not really keen on doing the treatment i don't want to take photographs and usually my nurse nudges me to take the photographs because you know everything's ready and that's the key make sure you have your camera your mirrors your retractors everything ready and out there so then there's no excuse for you not to take photographs and i have been surprised when i took the photographs patient who was not willing to have any treatment all of a sudden they want to have the treatment done as soon as possible so i hope this video was useful if you have any questions please feel free to contact me